These three acrylic painting techniques is all you need to know as an acrylic painter. I've gone very far and went for many years with knowing just these three painting techniques and I know you can too. Hi, my name is Jodi. I'm a fine art artist and this channel is all about art and painting. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. This is the most popular technique with acrylic painting of all time. It's almost self-explanatory. But let me show you this wet on wet technique with this ball. You want to take your darkest value, lay it down, and then take your lightest value and lay it down. And this is the funnest part, so start blending away. The trick here is melting the two colors together by working the paint with your paintbrush and doing so before the paint dries. Keep going at it until you are happy with the look of the blend. This is great for creating interesting details or creating a shadow effect. You can see I did a lot of this with my Godzilla piece here. So let me demonstrate with our lovely sphere once again. This technique is especially great when the layer below is a little bit on the dry side. And you can use this technique even when it's fully dry. So all it is is either this hatching motion, lines in one direction, or cross-hatching, creating lines in both direction. This technique can be useful for wood textures, tree trunks, leaves, stylized art, and so many things. Here are some more examples of my own art where I've used this technique countless times. Godzilla, as you saw earlier, to create the details in his head, and in his chest area. This Baneling, which is a StarCraft character I used hatching to create a lot of the details. This Mutalisk, which is another StarCraft character, a lot more obvious, especially in the wings. And it's not so obvious when you look at the whole horse painting here, but when you look closely, there are obvious hard lines and hatching in some places. I like the word glazing because it reminds me of glazing a cake and it's very similar to that but with a much more transparent material. Glazing is often used when the paint is already completely dry or partially dry to paint over. With this technique, you take your brush and dip it in your water to get a good amount of water on your brush. In this case, you can see I started with thicker paint, then used water to thin it right down to get a good gradient across the whole sphere. And it's as easy as that. If you like this video, consider giving it a giant thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you're ready to follow along a step-by-step, -step, super beginner-friendly follow-along painting tutorial, check out my recent video on painting Yoshi. Otherwise, remember to stay happy, stay blessed, stay inspired, and I'll see you in the next video.